so carry as an institute uh, works with the partners to develop and uh, have the technology in getting to the farmers. And we are happy to say that the SEMIT has been one of the key research institutes that we have been collaborating with in this country, citing the various regions in Africa and also in Australia. And then because of that, to improve this food security, where the sites were started in Malawi, Tanzania, Mozambique, uh, Ethiopia, and then Kenya. Those are five countries that uh, the project started in 2010. You'll find that wind is one of the major problems, many problems in this region. And uh, some farmers may lose up to 90% of their yield if they don't do the wind. So there is another pre-emergency herbicide that can be used that uh, uh, just after planting, before the, before the emergence of winds and the crops, up, the apicine sprays are applied on the soil. That will kill the winds at the juvenile stage before they, um, they, they come up and compete with the crop. So you find the farmer will find the field very clean. That is under zero tillage. Seek of improving food security is some of the technologies, like the sea, take long. The, the, you don't get benefit all of a sudden. If it's soil, soil of a treat improvement, the nutrient need to be within the soil, and then after that, the farmer may get the benefit after four, four seasons or so. The other benefit is uh, a limited knowledge on uh, some of the technologies that we have. Today we are talking of climate change. Today we are talking of raw rainfall, rainfall variability. And it is seen in the whole country that rain and use it for crops. Uh, tradition, seemingly traditional practice like intercrop, legume intercropping, legume rotations, uh, minimum tillage that is less soil disturbance, and in combination with improved seed and fertilizer. So the objective, the vision of some lesser and an adoption pathway project is to improve sustainability the food security situation of rural poor farmers. Okay, currently then, in this project, what are you doing? Yeah, currently in, in Simlesa, in the different villages of here in Kenya and in the other four African countries, we are demonstrating to a number of farmers the different technologies in the different villages. So that farmers, they can look at the technologies at least three times in, the, in one season, mm. and then, they, then based on they can score which technology is performing well, and then based on that farmer, they can select the technology that fits to them based on their resource endowment that they have, maybe based on the kind of crop that they are growing. Each technology, they can benefit farmers, but they will benefit more when they try to combine it, particularly with improved seed and fertilizer and conservation agriculture. Like, for instance, intercropping, it can be done with local varieties of legumes, and mess. For instance, beans, yes. cow peas, uh, pigeon peas. If farmers they can intercrop, for instance, maize with beans, yes. there is a possibility to increase their maize income by 62%. In other countries, for instance, in Ethiopia, for instance, we have shown if farmers they can combine their improved maize varieties, like with they can combine this with legume rotations and minimum tillage with less soil disturbance. There is a possibility to increase their maize income by 67%. Those technologies I'm referring, they don't require cash out except improved maize varieties, which they need maybe some cash outlays. Mm. So we had to go many trainings. They had to come, teach us, and then we go to the shamba, they demonstrate.